Hey friends, Hattie here with Honeybee Stampers. Are you excited to see this very adorable unboxing of this paper pumpkin kit and a really cute alternative project that I just actually um, learned about? So I hope you guys are able to join in and watch the video. This is a Stampin' Up! all-inclusive card kit called Paper Pumpkin. A lot of you, I'm sure, are familiar, familiar with it, but some of you may not be. So I'm excited to do a little unboxing, show you what's in this kit, and then show you a couple alternative samples. So this kit is the October kit. It's called Home for the Holidays. And today is the very last day to subscribe to get the November kit. And so if you are local to me in Sumter, South Carolina, and you decide you really want the November kit, I would be happy to add that onto my order and um, get you a kit as well. Or I'll share a link where you can actually subscribe and get it for yourself. But remember, you have to order it by the 10th of the month in order to get that month's kit. So I cannot wait to dive into this. I just want to make sure everything is working correctly really quick. And... Um, share with you this awesome kit. Now this kit right here is actually already has already been you know shipped out to everybody but I did see that they have refills for this kit available online right now um, so you can order the refill kit and I'll explain to you what's the refill versus what's the actual kit but now we're going to be also focusing on the November kit. All right so this kit, first of all, look how cute this box is, how cutely decorated that is. I think that is so adorable. It's like almost a keepsake in itself. So when you open up a paper pumpkin kit, you're gonna have some tissue paper because they always want it to be kind of like a gifting experience for you. And I've already opened this kit up, so it's, it's already out of the plastic and everything like that. But when you get it, it'll be all wrapped up in plastic and you'll always have an instruction booklet that looks like this. And then it is in color and it's very, very detailed. So it explains to you even, it, first of all, it tells you what pieces you need for card one and then also for card two. And then on card one, this whole page right here kind of explains to you what you need to do for card one. It shows you even where you need to place the dimensionals. And if you're using glue dots, it'll be the smaller circle that's kind of colored in that indicates that those are glue dots those little hexagons there are the stamp and dimensional. So I think that that's so clever. And with this kit, you're gonna see this little bottle here and it's a glue that has glitter in it. And it shows you exactly where to put the glue. So you'll see where there's gray shading there. That's where it wants you to put the glue. So this is almost like a fail-proof way of putting these cards together. That's why I love Paper Pumpkin. And then you always get a little ruler down the side if you needed that. Um, so, a little bit more information there about other things if you want to take your crafting to the next level because like I said this is all inclusive but if you fall in love with it and you want to do more then it kind of explains that and then on the very back it shows you all of the kit components and I'm going to kind of walk through that in just a second but you've got all of these pieces here that should be in the kit and then over here it shows you some alternate samples so a lot of times people like to take their paper pumpkin kits and create something different the cool thing about Paper Pumpkin is that it is a surprise every month and Stampin' Up! realized that not everybody likes surprises. So they started sharing little snippets of what the next kit is going to be so that you kind of had an idea. But once you get it, you know, if you find that you don't maybe love the cards that are included, you can always make alternate samples. And there's an entire Facebook group devoted to people who do just that. And so I'm going to actually share um, an alternate sample with you and then I saw somebody put together the cutest little box and I'm going to show you guys how to do that tonight too. Okay, so the rest of the unboxing, you're going to get this huge sheet of dimensionals. I, dimensionals are my favorite, my favorite adhesive that we have. I use them every time I craft. If I don't, then you need to check my pulse or something. Something's wrong with me. You're going to get a stamp set included and this stamp set is actually really adorable. You're going to get this little house here and um, I'm assuming this is like little dots for snow. You've got snowflakes, some trees. I thought there were three trees. Nope, there's two trees there. And then you've got this sentiment and then these two. You've got a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. And then the inside sentiment, let me see what it says. I can't even remember. Um, so it says, celebrate the wonder and joy of this festive season. And wonder and joy is the same font as the other two. So it ties in really well together. So you've got like outside sentiments and then also inside sentiments for your cards. 
So let's stick that back on there. You always get a photopolymer stamp set with your each paper pumpkin kit that you can collect. And a lot of people share on that Facebook group I was mentioning, like the ways that they store theirs for space saving reasons and such. So love this that you get that. You'll always get a little ink spot and I almost never open these little ink spots unless I have to. <laughs> I sometimes will gift my ink spots or I'll kind of save them on the side in case I'm running a class and I don't have enough of that particular color ink and we can use that. So there's that. I will reach for my larger. So here's the ink spot. Here's the larger ink pad and this is the one I'll use. Um, and then we've got this glitter glue. This was kind of a bonus gift with this kit and it is awesome. Awesome. I can't wait for you to see that. Okay, um, you do get some dimension or some glue dots here. So this is how the glue dots come on this little flat sheet and they're great for traveling. I personally love our glue dots that you can order. Um, these are a little bit easier to use than these, but I do use these from time to time. I have a whole stack of these at home. So in case I have to craft at home, I've got those available to me. You've got envelopes. So look at these envelopes. They're all decorated already for you. So you've got um, the flaps are decorated with this really pretty wreath and bow. And then you can write your addresses and such on that side. Um, you're going to have all of these die cuts for you. And then they've got trees and they've got um, labels here and then card bases. You're going to get two different card bases. One looks like this. So it's kind of like a portrait style card and one is more of a landscape style card. So those are the two card bases. You get four of each, which means you'll get to make eight cards total. Okay, and then you also get this pretty, uh, this glittery label that you can use. And then again, like the, I said earlier, these little labels here and then all these little die cut trees. So that is what's in your kit, love it. Um, I will show you what the cards actually look like when you put some, put them together as is. They are going to look like this. So here's the first card, and it's got all kinds of dimension to it. If you see on the side, they're popped up with dimensionals, and you've got different layers. You've got two different layers of the houses here, and then the card base here already had houses on it. And then if you can see closely, I don't know if it'll zoom in on it, but you've got some of the glitter around the houses or the roofs of the houses, and that's from this glitter glue. When you put the glitter glue on first, it kind of is like a puffy glue, and I, I thought it was gonna just leave that like puffy glittery look, but the glue dissipates, and then you've got this, what the glitter left over. The glue dissipates, and then the glitter is left over, and it is really pretty. And it's just like, let's see here. Let me do a good comparison. So we've got this, that's the cutouts, right? And then this is with the glitter on the roof. I don't know if you can tell the difference or not, but I can, and it's so pretty, I just love it. So those are the cards. Now, these, like I said, these kits were from October, and so you've already, people who ordered them already got their kits, but they did share that they have refill kits. So this is what's included in the refill kit. You are gonna get the cards and envelopes, you're gonna get all of these little cutouts, you are going to get the glitter glue, which is awesome. The only thing you're not going to get, I think, in the refill is I don't think you get the ink spot. You don't get the stamp set. But honestly, look, you guys, with these two finished cards, the only stamping that you're doing is the Merry Christmas or the Happy Holidays um, and then whatever you stamp on the inside. So I'm pretty sure you guys have Christmas sentiments that you can use at home. So all the other stuff is included, though. So it's a really great deal. And the refill, you'll get eight cards and it's only $11.50. It's an absolute steal. If you're interested in that too, um, let me know. I can help you get those um, for sure. You have to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber in order to be privy to ordering the refills. But as your demonstrator, I'll be happy to help you out with that as well. Okay. Now, honestly, you're going to want to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber because the perks are just that good. So let us let me talk to you a little bit about, um, well, let's do our alternative sample first, and then I'm going to go into the next kit and the really cute little um, box that I'm going to do. All right, so let's see here. Let 
what I'm going to create is this little card. And actually, I do need to talk to you about the next kit. Let me just mention it to you so that I can kind of segue as to where I got some of the stuff. So Warm Wishes is the next kit. Well, Warm Wishes is the next kit that's coming out. So you have until today <laughs> to order it. And what it is, it's eight boxes and you get four each of two different designs. So it's perfect for, for gifting if you put little treats in it or something, you've got coworkers, you wanna leave it on their desk, the mailman, your neighbors, your uh, kids' teachers, your grandkids' teachers, it could go, I mean, it's endless what you can do with it. Some people don't like 3D items, which I don't know what that's about, but some people don't. And so you can actually take the components of that kit and turn them into cards as well. So don't freak out if you see that they're boxes and you don't want that. But you'll get a Bossy Meadow stamping spot. You'll get iridescent glitter accents um, on paper. You're gonna get linen thread, eight clear food safe bags. So that's where you can put some of the candy or the treats in. You're gonna get a, another photopolymer stamp set. I did see that stamp set and it's got a cute door um, that's kind of decked out for the holidays. And it's got a dog on that stamp set. And I'm trying to think of what else. Um, <clears throat> anyways, it's festive, it's cute. And then you're gonna get these little treat boxes. So that's what that kit is. And then if you really want to add on to that, they've been at allowing us to kind of add on most months to the kits. And there's this little add on here, which I have in front of me. And it's this one, you get 20 envelopes, I mean, 20 cards and envelopes, coordinating envelopes. So these are the envelopes here. They're fantastic, but as you can see, they're much larger than our typical cards that we actually have. Um, so this is a much larger card and it's perfect if you've got a like a large family and maybe you're wanting to set everybody to sign a card and send a little message to a loved one, or maybe you work with coworkers and you guys all have one big card that you sign and share with somebody. So it's just a really great card, but I'm gonna show you guys an alternate sample with this as well. And let me grab that. So this is only, so this is called Warm Wishes Cards and Envelopes and you get 20 of them and it's only $14. They're while supplies last and they typically do sell out. So if this is something you're interested in, make sure you either place an order for it or you reach out to me. I can't remember if you have to be a subscriber to get the, the ad. I think you do. I think you have to be a subscriber. So if you're not a subscriber, reach out to me. Um, if you are, then take advantage of that. Okay, so here's the, here's the envelope, first of all. I'm gonna use this to create my little um, cards that we're gonna do, the alternate samples. So, what I did, let me actually show you the other two. I'm just gonna kind of show you how I cut for these two, but I'm not gonna necessarily put the whole thing together because it's super simple. But I, first of all, started by cutting off the bottom here. I wanna make sure I don't go up too far there. Okay, so I'm just cutting across the bottom here. And then I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna go right to, um, I'm trying to think if I did, I think I did. I'm gonna do um, right almost to three inches here. I'm trying to remember if I did on my original card, I'll have to pull it up and see. Okay, anyways, so then you're gonna do the same thing on this, you're gonna go right up to um, two and seven eighths. Okay, and you're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, so you've got this piece left over that you could do something with for sure. But you've got these two little pieces here. And then what you're, you're gonna wanna do, and then you've got this, we're gonna use that for the envelopes. You're gonna take a piece of basic white, which is thick, thick basic white, and I'm just gonna cut it down to six inches, like this. Okay. And then I'm gonna score at three inches. I don't know, I think I might be out of the frame. Hopefully not. 
Okay, and then you're gonna cut it at three inches. So we sell these three by three envelopes in the annual catalog and they fit three by three cards. So that's what I'm making. I'm making card bases for three by three. Okay, and then one more. Okay. There we go. So we've got three of those out of one sheet. And I'm just gonna basically fold these in half and burnish the edges there. And then this card, yep, yeah, that's right. So two and seven eighths. And then this card will go here. So that's how you put these two together. And then I am going to actually, um, I'm not gonna do it right now, but I'm gonna just show you that I heat emboss the Merry Christmas in white on red cardstock, and then I just bussy cut it out. And then these little stars right here are with some silver glitter paper. And I got the stars, if you're wondering, I got the stars from the Stars at Night Hybrid Embossing Folder and Dies. So they're these little stars here. Okay. Let me make sure I'm in the screen. My, my computer keeps going off, so I can't see the video. Okay. Um, if, you're, if you get a chance to watch me live or if you catch the replay, definitely let me know. Hi, Carol. Oh, Carol, you have to tell me where in South Carolina you live. I'd love to see how far you are from me. So anyways, that's what these two are. And the reason I'm not gonna go into detail with this because that's pretty self-explanatory and I wanna share with you um, the next couple projects, okay? So you get two of these cards here and then to do the envelope flap, I just took this extra piece that we had left over and glued it on and then you just trim it off and then that gives you that extra little design there. So there's that, set these off to the side here. Okay, and now we're gonna go into this one. So for this one, I'm gonna fold this in half. So when I was coloring this, I totally forgot that with our alcohol markers, they bleed through like that, and I don't want that look. So I, um, what did I do with this? I cut another piece so that I could stamp on that instead. Hold on a second. Well, I don't know what I did with it, just that quick. So that's okay, I'm just gonna cut a piece then. So I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna cut down this piece here. So what is this measuring? It is measuring at two and a half. So I'll just cut two and a half. I think that should be enough. Does that cover it? It does, okay. And we're gonna stamp on this. So right here, we're gonna take our stamp set. And this time, I think I put Happy Holidays. I'm gonna do Merry Christmas this time. Well, wait a minute, my Merry Christmas might be a little bit too big. We'll try it anyway. So we're going to pick that up. You always wanna pick up your photopolymer that way. And I'm gonna stamp in real red. Ink that up and stamp. Ooh, it is kind of, oh well, I'm gonna go for it anyway. It fills up that whole little square. And then we're gonna clean this off. And I'm gonna grab our house. The house on here is really stinking cute. So I'm going to stamp the house in Memento Black, so I'm gonna use some Stampin' Blends. You guys will have to stay and watch the little, um, the next project that I make after this because I really think it is so cute. Um, it's a unique way to use those note cards. All right, so I'm gonna stamp the Memento Black, the house there in the center. And then I did stamp that house again on a piece of 
post-it note and you're just going to put the post-it note right down over the house. Okay. So that you can stamp your trees. I wanted a little bit of a different green, so I'm going to pull in some garden green here. Grab this tree. Ink that up. And then we're going to just stamp right next to the house, nice and firm. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Okay. Now you've got your houses there flanking, uh, your trees there flanking the house. And then we've got some Stampin' Blends that I brought in to color. Okay, we'll do some really quick coloring. Um, I hope it's quick. <laughs> We're going to do the light pecan pie for the house. I always get nervous when I'm coloring on camera or somebody's watching me. Just kind of going around the house here. And then I'm going to color the door red. You have to be really gentle when you're using your Stampin' Blends. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on the tip. Sometimes I'll look at my Stampin' Blends after I've done a class or something and they are just mutilated on the tip. So um, not a lot of pressure there. Okay, so when I've got this little thin area, that I want to be really careful with and might use the bullet tip. Okay. And then let's see. Um, we'll do some dark pecan pie for the shutters here. all the color on there and then we're gonna do this dark old olive see that tip right there yikes yikes okay we're gonna do we're gonna have to use the bullet tip to do the greenery around the house like that and then we're also gonna do the wreaths this way okay well, hi, Sharon. How are you? All the way from Wisconsin. It's good to see you on here. And then we're going to, let's see, I need to go back in and get the tops of these shutters. Okay. Um, I need to get the top of this door. We're also gonna make the bow red. Make these bows red too. Oh, this house is just so cute. And then we're going to bring a nice glow through the windows. This is, what color is this? Daffodil Delight. It's dark, Daffodil Delight. It's a nice warm glow. Okay, just like that. Okay, not the best coloring, but you guys get the point, right? And then I'm going to go and bring in some more color. What color is this? Light old olive? Let's do this for this, the trees that are on the side. We don't have... Um, look at that <laughs> tip. That's too much pressure. When there's too much pressure on it, that's what happens. So um, we don't have a garden green Stampin' Blend. So I did stamp in garden green for the trees there, but I think the, the two-tone color looks good. Okay, now you'll see that it's kind of messy right there on that side, but that's okay because we're going to put that on here. Um, let's stamp the sentiment that goes on the inside. Pull this off. Can you tell I'm a messy stamper? My, my desk is always such a mess. Oh, put the stamp on there first, and then we'll ink that up. 
just stamp that right in center there. Okay, love that. And if you, if we wanted to, we could even add a little something, right? Well, that'd be pretty to put a little blue behind it if we wanted to, or we could even put some of that glitter somewhere. But what I'm gonna do is actually just for right now, no, I'm not. I'm gonna actually put something behind it. So here's the envelope that coordinates with those add-ons, right, that we talked about earlier. And I think I'm gonna add some of this red. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's add some of this red behind it. Okay, so let's see. Can't put it down there. I um, Guess we're gonna have to do it here. I'm going to just kind of put it down here like this. And I'm gonna cut around it. Is that crazy? Okay, let's try it and see what happens. So, we just want just a tiny, tiny bit of this in the background. So I'm gonna line up the edge of the white. Hopefully y'all can still see me. And just cut it up like that. Oh, that's a little bit too tiny. Oh well, oh well, it works. It gives it, it makes it have just a little, adds a little bit to it, right? So then we're gonna stick this over here and do the same. Okay. So I'm lining the edge of the white up with the paper trimmer guide here. And then one more time. Okay. Not completely even, but I really like that that adds a little bit to that. Okay, um, let me color these little, I don't know if these are chimneys or what. We'll add that little color right there. You know, I didn't really color the whole image in like I did with the original card. So, but I like that it's got some white space there. That's kind of cool. Let's th throw some dimensionals on here. this huge sheet of dimensionals that we can put on here. So let's do that. These feel like they're a little bit higher, not much, but just a little bit higher than the ones that we sell in the catalog. So this is the free one that comes with your paper pumpkin kit. They're probably the same and I'm just thinking, <laughs> I'm just thinking something different, but there's that right there. Okay, I really like that. And then we're gonna finish off with that glitter glue. So, like I said earlier, the glitter glue is gonna go on with some puffiness to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna swirl it on here, but then the glue really dissipates and leaves just a really pretty glitter. So it's gonna look like it's got some snow on the top. And it doesn't take long either to dry, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, you guys, I wish you could see how pretty this was. It's so pretty. It really looks like snow. Let me see if I can move it around the camera. Maybe not. Okay, so there's our extra card, and then all you would do is add some of this piece of, part of this envelope, right, to your envelope to finish it off. So there's that. So here was my original, and then here's kind of a stepped up version of it. I like them both, I really do. Um, for this one, I actually use our blender pens to kind of pull some of that green. Don't like that look as much as I like just using a Stampin' Blend. So blender pen are the ones that you use with like um, watercolor pencils or um, just blending versus Stampin' Blend. So there's, our blends are an alcohol, alcohol marker, so that's the difference. Okay, now let me show you this project that I think is just so cute. I am not the originator of this. I actually saw this over on a paper pumpkin site for demonstrators. Um, and now I've got to remember her name. Okay, um, her name was Arlene Dunham, I think. Arlene Dunham is the one who came up with this. 
and I just thought it was so clever and cute, I had to do it. So what she did was, she also had a pack of the add-ons, so these right here. These cards are so humongous. And what she did was she turned it into a box. So let me show you the box. She turned it into this adorable little box. And then if you wanted, if you got your paper, this is the paper that came with the paper pumpkin kit. If you kinda didn't smash it up too badly, or you could even cut it and use that as some tissue paper with that box. And then you've got the little cards. You could use either this alternate sample card to go with the box, or you could use this one. So let me show you how easy it was to put this little, I keep saying box, but it's kind of like a bag, okay? So um, now let me get the measurements down here. So what you do is you are going to, um, you're gonna score, so get your paper trimmer out of the way, and you're gonna score at one fourth of an inch. Let me flip it on this side. I felt like it was easier scoring this way. So a fourth of an inch. Like that. Then you're going to move it down to one and a fourth. And then you're going to move it down again to five inches. And then again at six inches. Okay. And then she has you cut it off at a fourth of an inch on the end. Um, the measurements, the, it works. The box is just a little tiny bit askew, but it works, okay? So just kind of go follow me here. <laughs> so it was, let me start again. So you do score at a fourth of an inch, an inch and a fourth at five inches, which is like right down the center, essentially, and then at six inches. And then you go all the way to the end and you cut off a fourth of an inch. Okay, so there's that. And then you're gonna, you're gonna score at one inch from the bottom. So this is the bottom. Let me flip it over again. And I'm gonna put it out to one inch. This is one of the things I love. So this is a six inch card. I mean, it's a, it's a really big card. Um, I love this, our paper trimmer that we've got the measurements on the other side. So you're going to score right there at one inch. So this is what you have. And then we're gonna need our paper snips. Before we do that, let me burnish all the lines here. It's always easier, in my opinion, to burnish all the lines and then cut versus like start cutting and then you gotta, you know, it's just, it's just easier, <laughs> trust me. Um, so here we go. And then this way. Ooh, kind of messed up that score line, that's okay. And then, oh, don't forget that one inch. Okay, now that we've done that, this part down here that's got this like little one, a uh, fourth of an inch flap, I just kind of snip at an angle towards it, towards the um, one inch line and then cut it off. So I've got that little angle right there and then I cut it off. And then I cut the rest of them kind of at an angle towards that one inch mark. Like that. And then I'll do the same down here. Just mitering those edges makes it easier when you're putting the box together. Keep calling it a box, but it's kind of a bag. It's kind of a bag box. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I, I mean, you can give anybody just about anything if you dress it up really cute with some paper, um, with some paper products, right? So there's that. Now, typically, if you were doing like a box or a bag and it it was measured correctly, you'd be able to fold it. Oh, maybe it will. Okay, never mind. It is lining up. I don't know, when I tried it earlier, I felt like it wouldn't line up correctly. But anyways, so it should line up just like that. And then you can glue that down. I don't know why I felt like it was going way past it. All right, I'm gonna use our liquid glue here to just put it on this little fourth of an inch flap. And 
and then I'm gonna press this down. Tear and tape would be perfect for this as well. But because this card literally has this beautiful image on both sides, you don't wanna not do this, right? So we've got this right here going. And then on the bottom, so wherever, I would consider this the back, that's just me, and this is the front where it's kind of nice and smooth. And then we will, ooh, but that's so pretty down there. Oh well, I'm gonna have to cover it up. Let's put a little bit of adhesive here. And then we'll close the top there. Just like that. Try to make your box <laughs> stay flat and line up. You can put it this way. And if you want, you can put a bone folder in there and kind of push it down. Okay. And you could even make the box a little bit shorter if you wanted to. But I think this is cute. You could make the ed the top of it scalloped or do something really pretty there. Um, now you could take some of your extra pieces from your kit. So we had like all these extra houses and stuff. You could put houses on the front of this if you wanted to, right? This is really the front for me. I could stick a house right there or add something there to it to make that even prettier. Um, but you can also just take a paper punch and punch a little hole in the top on the sides. I'm gonna do them on these sides here. One there, and one here, okay? And then string some ribbon through there. And then, like I said, you could even put make another little tag. I could cut some of this up and make a little hanging tag from that. That would be cute. Um, let me see, what would be a cute one? I guess, what, I guess this is the best, well, no, this is a good one. You could kind of cut this one and make this little hanging tag and put like to and from right here if you wanted to. Um, and then you've got these great alternate projects right here to include with that gift packaging. So there's that. Um, here's my other alternate sample, right? And then you have this left over. Oh, this is cute too. You could just turn this into a mini card that could get added to that card as well. I mean, the Ideas are just absolutely endless. I love this kit. So the next kit that's coming out is going to coordinate with this, and it's actually also gonna coordinate with the October kit. So what I mentioned earlier is even though you missed out on the full October kit because they're already out, they do have refills for, you'll get the eight cards and all the pieces for only $11.50. So the October refill kit would include the card bases, you'd get the envelopes, you get all these little die cut pieces, the glitter here, you even get the glitter glue. You just wouldn't get the ink spot, you wouldn't get the stamp set and stuff like that. But I'm sure you have your own Christmas stamps that you can use. So um, if that's something that you're interested in, let me bring those cards back in. <laughs> I tell you when I'm crafting I just have no idea where I put stuff and my desk gets really full really fast okay so I don't know where to put those cards but um, they're they're adorable <laughs> just know they're really cute and the next kit um, today is the deadline to order it and you're going to want to place an order now let me tell you about the ordering so here is the Warm Wishes, this is the next kit that's coming out. And let me tell you how to go about getting this kit. Um, so if you were to do a prepaid subscription, that means you decide you want one month's kit, it will cost you $23.50, but then shipping is added on that, onto that, okay? If you get three months kit, three months worth of kits, um, it's $69.50, and shipping is then added after that price um, to that kit. Now with the three months, it's a great gift to give somebody, especially for the holidays. You know, if you have nieces or nephews or, um, you know, your kiddos or yourself, it's a great gift. Um, six months is $127. You do save a dollar per month with the six month kit if you do that option. And then the 12 month kit 
is $243. So you'll get 11, you'll be paying for 11 kits and you'll get the 12th one for free. Now you can always skip kits too. That's something that I think some people don't realize is that maybe you're um, gonna be out of town for a month or two and you don't want these kits piling up at your door. You can put a pause on it and then resume later. I personally could never <laughs> not get a kit because I always, I have FOMO. I'd be like, well, what was that kit? And I'd want to see it. So um, that's how the prepaid. But if you were to do month to month subscriptions, you actually save money that way. Um, you can do, it's twenty four fifty, but shipping is included. So that's insane because shipping right now is ridiculous. Shipping, I think is seven. Like if you were just to get, um, like say you just got the one month kit, it's twenty three fifty. But then you do have to pay $7.95 just flat for shipping. Whereas if you did the month to month subscription where they bill you each month, it's $24.50 and that includes shipping. So that's a great deal. Anyways, um, if you are not a subscriber and you're local to me and you'd like one of the kits, make sure you reach out to me and let me know that ASAP. I usually do get um, one or two extra kits, but I'll be happy to help somebody out if they're wanting to get a kit. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, this paper pumpkin kit is super fun to put together. And the next kit, I'm excited to see what it is. So even though, like I said, it says boxes, you can definitely turn them into cards. And especially if you get these, you could even chop this up even more. And instead of folding this in half as one card, you can cut it down and put some of the pieces on it from the next kit and create two cards with the one envelope. So then that would be like, what, 40? 40 cards there? So, and the, I mean, you guys, it's like full of glitter. It's so pretty. The envelopes are gorgeous. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. All right, guys, let me know if I can help you with anything. I'll leave a link below on how to um, subscribe. Take care, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.